In one scene, this character advises his companion, it were not for your quiet nor your good to let you know my thoughts. This character remarks, I will wear my heart upon my sleeve for Dawes to peck at, before warning a senator that his daughter is making the beast with two backs. This character murders his wife Amelia after she admits that this character bid her steal a strawberry embroidered handkerchief, which this character plants with Cassio. This character calls Jealousy the Green-Eyed Monster as he manipulates the title General into strangling Desdemona. For 10 points, name this honest villain of Othello. And the answer is Iago. This author wrote, Tomorrow is darkness, joy today, at the end of a poem in which he tells a band to play, play, play. In a poem by this author, a mother explains it's had tacks in it and splinters and boards torn up after telling her son, Life for me ain't been no crystal stare. In another poem, this author described being lulled to sleep by one of the title things, which are older than the flow of human blood in human veins. That poem concludes, My soul has grown deep like the rivers. For ten points, name this Harlem Renaissance poet of The Negro Speaks of Rivers. And the answer is Langston Hughes. In a novel by this author, the head porter fires a lift boy at the Hotel Occidental after Robinson comes to visit. In another novel by this author, a gatekeeper tells a man that he may be able to pass a gate in the future, but not now. In that novel, a priest tells the parable before the law to the protagonist, who is later killed like a dog. A father injures his son by throwing apples at his back in a novella by this author in which a salesman awakes to find that he has been transformed into a monstrous vermin. For 10 points, name this author who wrote about the arrest of Joseph Ka in the trial and described Gregor Samsa's transformation into a giant insect in The Metamorphosis. And the answer is Franz Kafka. Jamie Lockhart falls in love with Rosamond Musgrove after kidnapping her from a house in this state in The Robber Bridegroom. A character from this state repeats, I don't hate it, after being asked a question by his Harvard roommate Shreve. That character drowns himself in the Charles River after he realizes that his sister Caddy is not a virgin. Quentin Compson tells his roommate about Thomas Sutpen's 100 square mile estate in this state's fictional Yaknapantapha County, which is the setting of Absalom Absalom and The Sound and the Fury. For 10 points, name this home state of Eudora Welty and William Faulkner. And the answer is Mississippi. In this novel, a woman is abruptly fired from her job after two soldiers appear at her workplace with machine guns. That character is inspired by a Latin phrase she finds engraved on a cupboard meaning, don't let the bastards keep you down. In this novel, the lesbian Moira briefly reunites with its central character at the underground nightclub Jezebel's. This novel's central character remembers Serena Joy's work as a singer on TV before she plays Scrabble with Serena's husband, the commander. For 10 points, the fanatically religious nation Gilead oppresses women like Offred in What Novel by Margaret Atwood. And the answer is The Handmaid's Tale. 
In this novel's first chapter, a woman gives birth in the Polonia court to a character who later marries a girl named after the Wisteria flower. After a character in this novel reads a poem that ends, May lavender, the hue of the troth, be as fast, another character marries the daughter of the minister of the left. The title character of this novel is often addressed with the epithet Shining. The death of this novel's title character is implied by a blank chapter titled Vanished into the Clouds. Lady Aoi is one of the many romantic partners of this novel's title prince. For 10 points, name this 11th century novel by Lady Murasaki Shikibu. And the answer is the tale of Genji. In a story by this author, a character obsessively repeats the Jesus prayer while on a date. A character in a story by this author labels a woman a goddamned sneak after accusing her of staring at his feet before he shoots himself in his hotel room. Seymour describes the title creatures while at the beach in a story by this author, who described the Glass family in Franny and Zoe and A Perfect Day for Banana Fish. This author also wrote a novel in which a character leaves Pensy Prep and returns home to spend time with his sister Phoebe. For 10 points, name this author who portrayed the life of the teenager Holden Caulfield in The Catcher in the Rye. And the answer is J.D. Salinger. Ezra Pound criticized this author for using Latin syntax in the phrase, Him who disobeys, me disobeys. A poem by this author decries vain, deluding joys that dwell in some idle brain before praising divinest melancholy. This author asked, who would not sing for a drowned shepherd in a pastoral elegy dedicated to Edward King? This author of Il Penseroso and Lycidas wrote an epic poem that seeks to justify the ways of God to men. In that epic by this author, a character claims better to reign in hell than serve in heaven after rebelling against God. For 10 points, name this English poet who wrote of Satan corrupting Adam and Eve in Paradise Lost. And the answer is John Milton. In this play, a character swears to stay in this city and beat this racket before his mother reveals that she finished paying off her mortgage. A waiter in this play is asked for directions to a seed store by a man who is later seen madly planting those seeds in his front yard. That man is told that the jungle is dark but full of diamonds by a hallucination of his brother Ben. In this play, a character flunks math after he discovers that his father is having an affair with the woman. This play's title character kills himself in a car crash in order to get life insurance money for his son Biff. For 10 points, name this Arthur Miller play about the demise of Willie Loman. And the answer is Death of a Salesman. In a novel by this author, the octopus Grigory is classically conditioned to attack a woman named Kotya. In another novel by this author, the former SS psychiatrist and LSD enthusiast Dr. Hilarious treats a character who discovers that the acronym W-A-S-T-E is linked to a conspiratorial postal service named Tristero. The line, A Screaming Comes Across the Sky, begins a novel by this author in which V2 rockets correspond to the sexual exploits of Tyrone Th Slothrop. 
for 10 points, name this postmodern American author of The Crying of Lot 49 and Gravity's Rainbow. And the answer is Thomas Pynchon.